have heard this is great. No, this is your play. Oh, this, no, this is, is your, this is your play. Yeah, Gutenberg, the musical. Uh, yes. I want to talk to you about this. I think you were on our show when we did Late Night, and uh, back when you guys were in Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon. Yes. And you, you remember that? Uh-huh. <laughs> You were, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen on Broadway. I go, oh my gosh, this is the funniest thing ever. Until now. Now you're back. Now you're back, everybody, yeah. Until now is right. Do you like that? This is our, this is our big reunion on Broadway, so. I was waiting, I was, I was like, what are these guys gonna do together? They have to do, you, you were so, your chemistry was so great. I go, and I have a great idea, I think. I want you to do a, a detective show on TV. Oh. That doesn't feel like something either of us wants to do. Yeah. No, this is great. This is what you have to do. Okay. And it's like a Matlock type of thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, tell see, me I more. was going Murder, She Wrote. But yeah. we can do that, that's, that's what makes yeah. it fun. You can do Murder, She Wrote. You can do Matlock. So this we is sort of like a, a hybrid. Do you want us in the same show here? Yes. Or is this? Okay. Oh, yes. Right. I want to see you what? in the same show. What about like a Simon and Simon? <laughs> that makes more sense. Can we just sense. do that? That makes more sense. <laughs> Simon and Simon, you can do that as well. But right, I want to see that. I think okay. that'd be kind of fun to watch. All right, yeah, it sounds, it sounds like your audience is really excited yeah. about that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like this could well, be in a the hit. meantime, in the meantime, <laughs> if you don't have the detective show, you have Gutenberg the musical. You have Gutenberg the musical. They can both, uh, you can both sing yes. and in dance. You're very sing. talented. He can sing and dance really well. You I can sort also of get sing by. and dance. Thank We've, you. Uh, you know, it's been uh, a long time since we've done Do you remember together, first meeting? What were your first impressions of each other? Didn't oh. like the guy very much. No, 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 we, oh. we can edit this out. We can oh, edit all it. this oh, out. Oh, Andrew. Oh, great. Me. Yes. Uh, we met June 2010. Look at this guy. They, Dear diary. They flew oh, him. My God. They, <laughs> that was so sweet, you. They flew face. him to L.A., uh, and we did a... Uh, <laughs> We did a... I can do this for hours. Yeah, I love it. Well, this is going to be on our detective show. This is how we hold Oh, it. I'm hey. excited. So, I'm telling Andrew you, Peacock. Came in, Andrew, <laughs> Peacock. Yeah. Andrew came in, and I had done workshops with other people like three or four times, and then they brought two celebrities up again, stacked him against two Ooh. big celebs, Ooh. and then he came in last, and he, we did the scene together as Cunningham and Price, uh -huh. and I looked at Trey Parker, Matt Stone, and our producer, Ann Garofino, after, and I said, that's the guy. And they said, we agree, why do you think that way? And I said, because it's the first time I've ever been intimidated by an Elder Price. John. And he, wow. was, he was incredible. He was absolutely incredible. Was, I think, was that part I, of the I secret? I threatened him, which was part of the <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're factor. Right. No. Yeah. It, was very, it was very intimidating, and I remember very clearly, you know, obviously getting to read. But we didn't have any time together before. We just, like, walked into a room and then had to start reading together. So it was, like, it was very intimidating. But the two guys who went in before me were... Pretty damn famous, and Did I was like, "Did you see them leave?" Yeah, because we were all there at the same time. That, I don't like that. And but I, I, I figured I was like, "Oh, I don't really." Suffice have a shot to say, Al Pacino did not get the role. Oh, no, don't that. say his name. Don't say his. Get it. Don't no, say his I, name. But I figured I was like, I don't have a shot at this at all. And then one of the guys walked out, and he looked at me, and he said, "Musicals are hard." <laughs> <laughs> but he said like, it. But he said it like this. Musicals are hard. No, oh, wow, Al, it's yeah. Al Pacino. Oh, oh, I was like, Albert, wow, wow, wow. Down, man. Yeah. Musicals are hard. Pacino. I don't like they musicals. Are. Musicals are hard. <laughs> if you want to do a detective show, I'm your guy. Oh, wait, is that? No, it, no you got it, right? Uh, Tell no. you guys should do the show. Uh, but let's talk about <laughs> Gutenberg the musical. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, James Earl Jones Theater right now. And this is, uh, this is something... Uh, People have called it the Hamilton of its generation. Well, by Josh, that's me. It. I'm the person. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone else is saying. Even that. though technically Hamilton is, is the Hamilton of its, of its generation. Of our generation. Right now it is. Yeah. yeah. I think this is the <laughs> Hamilton of its generation. You said that. Yes. yes, I think this is the cats. It's a slightly the cats of our of this generation it's, of, it's, than cats or Hamilton. It's cats by way of Hamilton with two would-be detectives. Yes. Wicked. <laughs> you like Wicked? It's all yeah. love this. If you guys love musicals, this is for you. This is for you. This is for you. Gutenberg with these two guys. Uh, in the show, you you actually you wear a lot of hats. You, we do. We literally you play wear every a lot of hats. character we in do. the whole show. Yes. And you, yeah. did you so know? There are about a hundred. That's me. Hats. That's Andrew. Yeah, that's, that's right. Me. 
uh -huh. that we uh, that we wear throughout the show to sort of differentiate these different characters that we play. There's about a yeah. there's over 120 hats. 120 there's over hats. 120 hats. Yeah. And I, by the way, I found out about the hats after I signed up. I it, I would not have done a show with hats had I known. Okay. Because there are two things that scare me: hats and choreography. Okay. The oh show has both. This, this is a nightmare. Yeah. Then. Yeah. This this is is a but but to be clear, <laughs> we we had done two readings of this musical before we you know were really going to do it in earnest here on Broadway and. And Josh claims that he had no idea that there were hats involved, except there was a mention of hats all over the script. I don't read stage directions. He doesn't read stage directions. <laughs> oh and you don't I read the script. I my character never says, I'm wearing a hat right now. He just yes, sort of right, scanned yes. for his so character's name. So I wouldn't know. So no, I wouldn't would, think. You wouldn't know. But do, what happens when some, someone grabs the wrong hat? Oh, this happened the other night. It happens. It's sometimes happened. the hats fall off. I, sometimes the, you know. <laughs> It, this past week, we've had a hat fly into the audience. Uh, there was a day where I... Do any of you watch Only Murders in the Building? You know that scene where... Yeah. So apparently one of the best every, detective everyone, shows... One of the best detective shows on of all television time. right like, now. Weird, That's what people are it's watching. It's a weird Jimmy obsession right now. But yes, this detective show called... America Only wants <laughs> you guys to do the detective show, Only Why Murders in the America Building. You guys love Only Murders in the Building? How about with these guys? <laughs> So like Steve Martin, I went to the white room and I found myself holding a hat I've never held in my entire life. And I looked at Andrew on stage, and this is my version of improv. I go, Andrew, what the hell am I doing with this hat? I had like no, I had no improv. There's no game face. No, there's there. no game face. That's how you improvise? Yeah, I no. go, what do I do now? Or he'll say, I wasn't supposed to say that. Or you weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> or where am I? Out? Sort of just like blunt force improv. Yeah. So I, I said this to him and he goes, no, put that back where you found it. <laughs> We got back on track. Yeah, of course we you get, back. get back on it's track. It's live theater, Jimmy. Uh, live theater. I, I was very uh, lucky to meet uh, your mom and dad and oh, your brother backstage. They were very lucky to meet you. No, come on. <laughs> but you know what's funny? We were talking, uh, and the, you guys were nice enough to come on when I hosted Late Night back yeah? in the day. Uh, this is this is us here, in fact. Oh, look at this. 2012. That's me. That's no, Andrew. That is, yeah, that's you. <laughs> Uh, and uh, you, your mom said that it was one of her favorite. <laughs> My mom, I have done, I have done a bunch of late nights since that. Probably for 100. some reason, pr probably two thousand five hundred. And for some reason, my mother always says to me. I'll never forget the time you and Andrew sang Take On Me with Jimmy Fallon. It was my favorite. That's right. That's right, Mom. Loved Mom it. is crazy. Susan Gatz here. Mom is here, Susan. Susan Gatz Schwartz is here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mom and Dad. He has great taste. Oh, Mama. But I, I thought it'd be kind of fun if, if you wouldn't mind to maybe oh. read. Should we I do mean, it? Sure. I think it's time. Mom, okay. this is for you. This is for Susan. This is for you, Susan. Oh, yeah. You remember this, Jimmy? <laughs> 